All right, so today we're going to be working with a Xerox Phaser 7500. And uh, customers having issues with this printer. They're getting um, fuser end of life errors. So they went ahead and ordered a replacement fuser here, OEM, brand new. Uh, plugged that in, and the printer is not identifying it. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get into the service diagnostics menu. And we're going to go into the NVRAM settings. And we're going to go over to the CRU, and we're going to wipe that out. CRU, it stores all the counters for your toner cartridges, your imaging units, and uh, imaging counts, and uh, of course the fuser count and the belt count. So with the power off, right, you're going to press on this right here, this little back arrow, and you're going to press on this little question mark, and you're going to turn it on. When you do that, sorry, when you do that, you'll see the screen will come up and it'll say service diagnostics initializing. As soon as you see that, you can let go of the buttons. Sorry about the jitter, I'm working from a cell phone right now. So now you're going to get the menu, all right? So using the up, down arrows, these buttons, and the OK button, that's how you're going to navigate. So we're going to arrow all the way down to NV RAM access, press OK. Gonna arrow down here to reset CRU life counters. Press OK. Here's a bunch of info. Some stats on the belt, the cleaning assembly, the fuser. These guys really beat this up, huh? Almost 200,000 images on the fuser. So we're gonna hit OK, hit OK. Want to reset it? You go up to yes. Press OK. What do you want to reset? You're going to go to the fuser. We're going to press OK. It's now resetting that. Must be etching it in stone because it's kind of slow. We've been waiting, but please wait some more. All right, that exited. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. It's already on. We left it on, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn it off. Just left it. Left it on the power button. And I'll wait for that to boot up. All right, and there you have it. We're back at the main screen here, all booted up, and there's no errors about Fuser. It's all gone. All right, hope this was helpful. Again, this was a Xerox Phaser 7500, and this was how to get into the service menu and clear the error for the Fuser end of life. We went into the NV RAM settings. We went into CRU and we specifically reset only the one for the fuser. We'll catch you on the next one.